A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? Hooray! Late one afternoon, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were traveling at a leisurely pace through the hills in central Texas, when suddenly... Draw rain, mister. You too, Angel. You both coming. We better follow orders, Tonto. Close it, we oh, close. Oh, As the masked man and his Indian friend drew rein, two men stepped from sheltering trees to the trail. One held a snub-nosed derringer. This gun's not much for size, but it's plenty deadly. So don't try a fast move. Yes, ma'am. Keep your hands away from your guns. What's the idea? We need horses. A couple of crooks stole ours. So you plan to take ours? Yeah. What's more, we're taking you to the sheriff in the nearest town. You're probably wanted for a lot of crimes. No, you're wrong, mister. We're special deputies. Signed by Warden Jenkins of Territorial Prison to the job of hunting a couple of escaped convicts. At the ground, Al Hoot. New two engine. The Lone Ranger eyed the deputies standing side by side on the trail. His voice was sharp as he called, Take them, Silver! As the mighty stallion charged, the startled men fell back to escape being struck by silver shod hoofs. Taking advantage of their confusion, the Lone Ranger drew and fired. A silver bullet smashed the small gun in the hands of the red-headed deputy. All right, Silver, that's enough, boy. Who? Tonto chuckled at the look of wide-eyed dismay on the deputy's faces. The Lone Ranger turned tables on you, huh? What? <laughs> Lone Ranger? You mean this masked man? He... He's the Lone Ranger. That's right. Thunderation. I, I didn't know that. Who are you? Joe Cannell. This is Mort Randolph. You said a couple of escaped convicts stole your horses. Sire Rapson and Cork McCool broke out of prison. While we were out looking for them, they took us by surprise. Stole our horses, guns, and cash. So those two are free again. Warden Jenkins will be downright mad when he hears how they outsmarted us. You're uh, within walking distance of town. Yeah, but we can't I suggest you go there and send a report to Warden Jenkins. Tell him Tonto and I have taken up the search for Cy Rabson and his pal. Let's go, Tonto. Are you ready? Come on, Silver. Let's go. The faint tracks the masked man and Tonto followed led south. As darkness fell, they drew rain. Oh, oh, Silver, easy. Easy, 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 easy. While we wait for the moon to rise, Toto, we'll have a light meal. Oh, that good idea. Country around here is so dry, it's difficult to follow a trail. Ah, Texas have bad drought. Yes, I hope it ends soon. Uh, Kimasabi. Yes? You think crooks head for border? Well, they were captured not far from the town of Jacksonburg. Mm, that's right. I think the loot from the Wells Fargo robbery is hidden near there. So they'll probably go back to get it. If we have any trouble picking up their trail again, we'll ride directly to Jacksonburg to warn Sheriff Lewis. A few days later, Tonto entered Sheriff Dan Lewis's office in the town of Jacksonburg. Well, Tonto, how are you? Uh, me fine, Sheriff. And your masked friend? Well, him asked me tell you about... Cy Rapson and Cork McCool. The rats who went to territorial prison three years ago for robbing a Wells Fargo stage? That's right. They were captured without the loot from that robbery, if I remember right. 
No one ever find loot from holdup, Sheriff. Well, in that case, the Wells Fargo reward for its recovery has never been claimed. A lone ranger wants you to know, Cy Rapson, Cork McCool break out of prison. What? Four day go. Jumping grasshoppers. And mass friend think maybe crooks come back here. To Jacksonburg? Uh, for what? To get loot from robbery. Uh. Uh. Hey, Sheriff. Someone at the door. Oh, sounds like young Billy Murray. Come on in, Bill. The door's unlocked. Oh, hi, Sheriff. Come inside, Bill. When I saw the door close, I thought you might be talking about some private business, Sheriff. Well, nothing in this office is private from the son of an ex-sheriff. Tonto, meet Billy Murray. Billy, this is Tonto. Uh, how, Bill? Howdy, Tonto. <laughs> Billy's dad, <laughs> Hank Murray, was Sheriff of Jacksonburg before me, Tonto. Oh, me knew Sheriff Murray. Oh, you did? That's right, Bill. Him... Him fine lawman. Too fine to die of an outlaw's bullet. Someday I'm going to be sheriff of Jacksonburg, too. Why, well, your ma might have different ideas about that. I'll convince her yet, sheriff. Will you see what I got for my birthday? Well, a six-shooter. It's dad's gun. I, I'd like to capture a couple of crooks and collect the rewards. Now, Billy, if you find any crooks, report them to me. I'll see that you get the reward for those you helped turn in. Oh, it's a deal, Sheriff. So long, Tano. Adios, Bill. I hope you have a mighty happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, wait till his ma hears Billy wants to turn bounty hunter. A lone ranger new boy's father. Now, Hank was a fine lawman. One of the best the West ever had. That's right. His wife's had a hard time getting a living out of that run-down spread of theirs since he died. Oh, what's wrong with the ranch? Uh, nothing money wouldn't cure. Uh, that bad. Yeah. Well, Sheriff, me go buy supplies we need, then right back to camp. Tell your masked friend I'd like to see him before he leaves this part of the country. Uh, me tell him. And I'll be on the lookout for Cy Rapson and his pal. Meanwhile, the fugitives the Lone Ranger and Tonto were looking for were riding toward Jacksonburg astride stolen horses. As they slowed the animals for a brief rest, Cy Rapson observed... Oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh, oh, oh. It's a good thing we've traveled through hills along back trails no one is likely to know about. We've done a good job of throwing off any posse that might be after us. Right now, I'm worried about what's ahead of us. We can't ride through town to reach Big Indian River. We'll have to go around town. I hope we pass a couple of water holes or springs along the way. The ones we've passed so far have been dry. It must be a long time since it rained in this part of the country. Yeah, it looks like a real drought. The sooner we get the loot we left at the river and head for the border, the better I like it. I've done a lot of thinking about that loot. <laughs> well, so have I. I'm going to live mighty high on it from now on. I wonder if there's a chance it drifted downstream. After we threw it in the river? Yeah. Couldn't have drifted. It was at least $50,000 worth of gold, paper money, and silver in that canvas sack. Uh-huh. That sack was heavy. So heavy, it took both of us to drop it in the river. Yeah, I remember that. With all that weight, it'll be right where we left it. All we got to do is locate the flat top rock on the riverbank. That sack will be almost directly under it. I hope you're right. Get Come up there. On, Come get on. up there. Get up there. When Tonto rejoined the Lone Ranger in the hills east of town, he reported his conversation with Sheriff Dan Lewis. A sheriff say him keep close watch for Cy Rapson and Cork McCool. Good. And while me in office, a boy named Billy Murray stopped to see Sheriff. Billy Murray? Ah. Him son of Sheriff Hank Murray. Oh, I remember Hank Murray. He was a good friend. Ah. How old is his son? Oh, about 16. Huh? Him tell Sheriff him have birthday today. I'd like to see the boy. Sheriff Lewis say boy and mother have hard time getting along since Hank Murray killed. I'll saddle Silver and we'll start for the Murray Ranch to see them. Mm, that good. On his way home from town, Billy Murray rode along the banks of Big Indian River. Because of the prolonged drought, the level of the river had fallen extremely low. Billy was not far from the ranch when his horse stopped to drink at the water's edge. While he waited for the animal to drink his fill, Billy studied the water and the exposed ground that had always been covered by the river. Then he noticed the canvas sack partially embedded in the river bank, slightly above the water's edge, near a huge flat-top rock. Steady. 
Golly, I never noticed that before. The boy dismounted to investigate. The waterproof canvas sack was securely fastened, but by using a pocket knife, Billy was able to cut an opening near the top. He reached inside. Golly. A moment later, he stared in wide-eyed wonder at a handful of gold and silver coins. Now to continue. Hardly able to believe his good fortune, young Billy Murray excitedly tried to move the heavy sack. But it was no use. Sally, it's too heavy. I'll have to get Mom to help me. Putting as much gold and silver into his pockets as he could, Billy took one last look at his newly discovered treasure, then ran to his waiting horse. Steady there. Get up! Get up there! Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto drew rein in the yard in front of the rundown, dilapidated Murray Ranch House. Oh, oh, easy. As they dismounted, Helen Murray came from the house. At the sight of the Lone Ranger's mask, she half stifled a scream. Oh, please don't be alarmed, Mrs. Murray. We're not here to harm you. That, that mask you must... Your husband was a good friend of ours. When he introduced us to you, he assured you I wasn't an outlaw. You... you knew Hank? Oh, yes. We knew him very well. Oh, uh... Do you remember meeting my Indian friend, Tonto? Tonto? And a masked man? Oh, of course, I remember now. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you when you drew rain, but it's been so long. Yes, it was several years ago. I'm so glad to see you. Well, uh, Mrs. Murray, Tonto and I would like a chance to help you and your son. Thank you, mister, but Mom! I... Hey, Mom! It's Billy, my son. Oh, me meet him in town. Billy! We have company! Oh, hold it! Hold now! Hold how, Bill? Well, Tonto. Well, golly, what are you... Hey, a masked man. The masked man and Tonto are friends, Billy. Very good friends of your dad's. I met Tonto at Sheriff Lewis's office, but... The masked man's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? That's right. <laughs> oh, golly. How are you, Billy? Oh, I, I'm fine, mister. I, hey, gosh, Mama, I came home in a hurry to tell you what happened. Is something wrong? Oh, no, no, nothing's wrong. I, I found a sack full of treasure, Mom. Treasure? That's right. It's right on the riverbank. I reckon it hasn't been found before this because the river kept it covered. What are you digging in your pockets for? Uh, these. Hey, look, oh, Mom. Money? Gold. Silver coins. There's lots more of them in the sack, Mom. Lots of gold and silver. Billy, you... You say you found this? That's right, Mom. Just think what it means. We'll be able to fix up the ranch. We can buy the new stock we need, hire a couple of hands... Just a minute, son. Oh, we gotta go back and get the rest of it. I'll hitch your horse and mine to the wagon and take it to the river. We got to get the rest of the gold and silver before someone else goes in. But, Billy, I... There's no time to waste, Mom. We'll lose a treasure if someone else goes there ahead of us. You found this sack on the riverbank, Billy? Oh, yes, sir. It's plenty heavy, too. It'll take a long time to load the wagon. I'll have to move a little at a time. Uh, Tonto and I would like to see your treasure, Billy. We'll ride to the river with you. Oh, that'll be great. I'll get the wagon out of the barn. Let me help you, Bill. Come on, Tonto. We've got to hurry. I just don't understand it. There's $50 here. And a lot more on the river bank, if your son is right. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Well, uh, several years ago, Mrs. Murray, a Wells Fargo stage was robbed not far from here. Oh, I remember. I think this money Billy found belongs to Wells Fargo. Oh. But there's a $5,000 reward for its recovery. $5,000? Yes. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Wagon's all set, Mom. Come on, get in. All right, son. You'll come with us, mister? Of course. Come on, Mom. I'll handle the reins. All right. I'm ready, Billy. Easy, steady, big fella. All set, Tonto? Uh, me plenty anxious to see treasure. So am I. Well, then, let's go. Get up. Get up there. Come on. Come on. A short time later, Billy halted the light wagon at the river's edge. Oh, oh. The Lone Ranger and Tonto also drew rein. Oh, 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 oh easy, steady, big fellow. The masked man and Tonto dismounted quickly, but Billy reached the water's edge ahead of them. There it is, just like I left it. Is it the Wells Fargo money, mister? If it is, the name Wells Fargo will be stamped on the sack in waterproof ink. Let me help turn the sack. What'd you say about Wells Fargo? Billy, the masked man thinks the money was stolen from Wells Fargo. What is, does that mean we have to give it back to him? Yes, dear. Uh, no, Mom. We couldn't keep stolen money, son. Yeah, but I, I found it. That doesn't make it ours. Here's the Wells Fargo marking. Mm, 
blurred a little by water, but letters still plain. Oh, doggone it. The masked man says there's a reward for finding the money, Billy. That's right, Billy. When this money is turned over to the sheriff, you'll have earned yourselves $5,000. $5,000? I'll put the sack into the wagon. Uh, me help lift it. Give us up. I've got a ton of Gosh, Mom. $5,000 is an awful lot of money. Indeed it is. That'll go a long way toward fixing up the ranch. There. The sack's in the wagon, Billy. I'll take the wagon to town, mister. You'd uh, better go with him, Tonto. I'll go with him, mister. If you ride in the wagon, Mrs. Murray, Tonto will travel alongside. So, uh, keep a sharp lookout for trouble, Tonto. Uh-uh. Me savvy. What do you mean, trouble? The men who stole this money escaped from prison. Oh. He must have two riders head this way. It may be Cy Raps and his friend. Who? A couple of crooks I hope you'll not meet, Billy. You better start for town. Right. Stay with him, Tonto. Uh-huh. Get him up, Scout. Get him! Get him! As Billy, his mother, and Tonto rode away from the river's edge, the Lone Ranger turned to meet the two horsemen hurrying toward him. The sky was darkening and thunder cracked ominously as the masked man recognized Cy Rapson and Cork McCool. He reached for his colts as they drew rein. Oh, 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 oh. You two are covered. Cy, it's a masked man. Masked man, nothing. He's a lone ranger. Now we're done for. Not yet. As Cy jumped from the saddle, he snatched his gun from its holster. No. He went down with a bullet in the shoulder. No. The lone ranger's second bullet smashed Cork's gun. You were foolish to try that draw. No. Dismount, Cork. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm hit my shoulder. Cy Rapson lay on the ground, writhing with pain. Having dropped his gun when the Lone Ranger's bullet struck his right shoulder, he looked around for the weapon. It was inches from his left hand. Taking a desperate chance, he grabbed it and fired. As the shot ripped the masked man's sleeve, the Lone Ranger's colt roared, smashing Cy's gun beyond repair. But the momentary diversion gave Cork a chance to jump the masked man. Closing in from the side, the quick-witted killer clamped his arm around the Lone Ranger's neck in an effort to choke him. Kill him, Cork! Grab his gun! Stand still so I can get it! Half blind with pain from his wounded shoulder, Cy tried vainly to take the Lone Ranger's gun, while the masked man fought to free himself of Cork's vice-like grip. The Lone Ranger reached over his shoulder behind his back. Come here, you! He caught the back of Cork's neck and lifted the surprised killer over his shoulders, somersaulting through the air. Hey! Before he knew how it happened, Cork hit the ground with jarring force at the Lone Ranger's feet. Now then, Cy. The Lone Ranger had moved too fast for Cy Rapson. He faced the wounded killer with a drawn colt. If you want more trouble... No, no, we've had enough. Then I'll tie you. Bandage your wounds. Take you both into the sheriff's office. A heavy rain was falling steadily and the streets were deserted when the Lone Ranger with his prisoners reached Sheriff Dan Lewis's office in Jacksonburg. Forcing Cy and Cork to walk ahead of him, the masked man followed them into the lawman's office. Inside, both of you. All right. Hey, hey, in the morning, oh. it's the masked man. Ah, him capture Cy Rapson and Cork McCool. How are you, Sheriff? Doggone glad to see you, mister. I never figured this storm would blow you and two prisoners in. I captured them on the bank of Big Indian River. Well, I have a cell that'll accommodate the two of them till they're ready for the trip back to prison. Come on, both of you. Uh, I'll cut the ropes you're wearing when you're behind bars. Remember, you're covered, so don't fire fast. All right, all right. Gosh, this has been a birthday I'll never forget. Many happy returns of the day, Billy. Billy and I are going to celebrate tonight, mister. We're going to have a really good dinner. With a birthday cake, especially for the occasion. Good. I'd be so happy if you and Tonto would join us. Well, we'll do that, Mrs. Murray. But we'll return to camp first for dry clothing. We'll expect you at the ranch house later. And we'll be there. Come on, Tonto. Be ready, Timo Sully. You see you later, Bill. You bet, Tonto. Well, both of those rats are behind bars and... Hey, where's Tonto? Where's the masked man? They'll be at our house later tonight for supper, Sheriff. Say, how about joining us? I'm having a birthday cake, Sheriff. Birthday cake or no birthday cake, Billy. I'll jump at the chance any time I can have a meal with the Lone Ranger. <laughs> 